Welcome to Two Old Guys Talking About Stuff. And John, the stuff I want to talk about is a bit of a reflection on, look, celebrating Act Two is how to the living longer, healthier lives. So uh, we in our generation, boomers particularly, um, uh, have done planning and some of us are in retirement or semi-retirement. But the kids coming up today are living longer, healthy, even longer and healthier than we are. Exactly. So if our okay. Uh, if our generation was uh, maybe hoping for 75 or 80, some of the kids today should easily be looking at 90 or 100. I, and, I agree. The, I, uh, technically, technically, as we speak, mm -hmm. I believe the actuarial age for men and women uh, dying is around 82 or 83, mm -hmm. something like that. So that means you enter the second half of your life at 40 to 45, somewhere in there. Right. Uh, we traditionally have been saying for celebrating Act Two, the second half of your life starts at 50. Well, that might be really true as the younger generation is going to live much longer than we did uh, or we are going to live. And, uh, yeah, they've got to wake up. Yeah, no and also, what... there's also, also another uh, difference that uh, I've sort of been noticing is that in general, our generation that had started families oftentimes started in our early 20s, mid 20s. Sure. We already had kids. Yeah. And by the time we were 40, they were in college and maybe 50. Uh, most of them were out. Many of our kids in, in our generation didn't even start their families until they were into their 30s. And right. And are having children now at 35 and 40 years of age. Well As into a, their 40s, you right. bet. So their kids are not going to actually, if they're going to be helping them with college or until they get out of the house, are going to they're going to be 60, 65. Yeah. By that time. Well, look at look at retirement ages. You know, the sure. original Social Security program picked 62 as the retirement age because most people, quite frankly, were Didn't. dead by 62. <laughs> right. Now, 62 has turned into 67 and 71 and a half and. And quite frankly, as the years progress, we're probably going to see Social Security, which is kind of the basis for all retirement planning, um, move into the 70s. And people are going to be working. People are working into their 70s. People in our generation have gone back to work. Yeah. OK, yeah. so 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 I guess the, the point is that if you're 35 or if you have kids who are 35 or 40, uh, you probably ought to some of us were smart enough and others were not smart enough, and some of us were semi-smart and started doing some planning. But generally speaking, you've got so many things uh, coming after you. You've got summer camp for the kids. You've got extracurricular activities. You've got vacations. And I don't care how well you're doing, money's going to run out at some point. But now you've got to have that until you're 60 or 70, those kinds of expenses, whatever you're doing. Uh, and even though you're living longer, healthier lives, you're still getting older. And uh, uh, maybe planning when you're 40 makes a lot more sense, even than our age, where we are already getting the kids out of the house uh, yeah. and other people are not. I think a lot of baby boomers didn't start planning for retirement uh, or they didn't even recognize that they were going to enter the second half of their life until they hit well into their 50s. Yeah. You know, you, you typically about 10 years from Social Security. So it was around 55 or so that a lot of baby boomers woke up and said, holy yeah. cow, geez, well, I, I still got to pay for college and I got my parents are in a nursing home and how am I going to, how am I ever going to retire? And I think a lot of people are still suffering from that. I hope the younger generation, those people who are between 30 and 50 now will recognize the situation. You're going to live longer, but you're going to need more money. Yeah, especially and, uh, because we need them to take care of us. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, stop, so. Being, stop being so selfish. <laughs> anyway, wake up, folks. And uh, if you're a, a baby boomer like us, tell your kids to wake up. Slap them on the side of the head and make them uh, start saving for retirement. Oh, there you go with corporal punishment. That's, we can't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry.
<laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.